I've spent the last week testing out Camtasia Rev. If you're looking for a way of making the video creation process a lot easier, but also a way of producing really quality videos where the work is done for you, this is the video for you. I'm gonna take you through the tool. You'll see how impressive it is. The video that you're watching at the moment was produced using Camtasia Rev. Really hope you like this video. And as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, Please comment on it. Love to know what you think of Camtasia Rev. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Any of those things will really help to push me up on the YouTube algorithm. Let's get started. In the description below, you'll find a link to test Camtasia for free, but you'll also find two links to buy Camtasia, the educational version and the commercial version, but both with an additional 10% discount. You already get a discount with the educational version, but this will give you another 10%. I've also left a link that will take you to a complete training course in using Camtasia. It's actually Camtasia 2022, but it's totally relevant to Camtasia 2023, though of course it doesn't include this new Rev feature. So we're looking at Camtasia 2023, Notice we've got this extra kind of area here in the recording screen and all we need to do is to turn that on and basically that will mean that it will kind of help us with the video creation process and edit the video for us and suggest a number of possibilities to enhance the video and I really like the enhancements that it offers us. So let's record something with Camtasia Rev and I'll turn on my webcam for this one. So I'm just gonna click on here just to turn the webcam on. You'll see me on the screen, there I am on the screen. I'm now gonna simply just do a quick recording. So we'll click on this button here. Hi, my name's Russell Stannard and I just wanna to introduce to you Camtasia Rev and show you some of the options that are available. This is really gonna enhance the video creation process, but also make it a lot easier for you. What I'm really impressive, impressed with is the creativity aspect of working this way. So I've made the video, I'm gonna click on the button here, stop. Sorry, I made a mistake, but we'll, hopefully it'll be okay. I click on save, and now notice this. We suddenly get that video, and we're gonna get loads of options of how we want the video to look. Now, let me just explain some of the, of the options now that are available to us. So look, let's look at some of these really impressive options. We'll start with the layout. So what you'll notice here below, if we go full screen, it'll be easier to see, is that you've now got loads of options. For example, if I wanted to change, and instead of having me here on the right hand side, because I had my webcam on, remember, I could choose this option. Okay, now I can come in afterwards and edit and make a few changes, like I might want to crop that slightly, or I could choose this option. Okay, now notice in this one, what they've done is remove the background. Obviously, it depends what you're hoping for. You've got lots of choice here. Remember, you're not restricted. This one actually switches it around. Now you can see you've got me on the camera with just a small screen capture. This one here, they've kind of fronted me. So I've got lots of options of the way that I might want to produce this original video. Remember that once you've kind of made your video, once you're happy with the, the basic settings that have been offered to you, you can of course edit in Camtasia and make any real small changes that you need to make, or of course you might be completely happy with the way the video is. So I'm just gonna, working with that layout, I kind of like this one where um, I'm on, on the circle. I think this works really nice. I really like the look of this. I think it looks really professional. So that's the one that I'm gonna go for. Now, the other thing that I might want to do if I come here to the background is that I could change the color of the background. Notice that I've got loads of options. Again, this has just been made easy for me. Let's say I want to make it, I think that looks kind of nice with the background shades that I've got here. That might work really well together. Now, if you come over to effects, I've got at the moment here, we've got this big cursor and I don't want this on. So I'm going to actually take that off. And of course I could, for example, offer have this, but I don't want any cursor on the screen at all. So we're just gonna leave it like that. So it's a kind of minimum um, layout in terms of that. Now filters is quite nice because these filters will affect the way my webcam runs. I kind of like this one down here, which I've been using all week, tasteful, but it does depend again on what you're trying to produce. And you've got loads of options here of choosing, include, including kind of going 
black and white. So what I really like is that this work has been done for you. You literally just make your choices um, and they produce a nice background, etc. Now we've also got the size of the actual screen. It doesn't come up as an option on this particular one. I've got filters, effects, backgrounds and layouts, okay? With the effects, there are actually a number of things. Um, we can, you know, as we've got remove background, that that was actually an option anyway on some of them, but notice again, with this one here that hasn't got the background removed, I would have that option if I wanted to do it. I like this, and then what I like is, of course, I can then bring this into editing Camtasia. Just a super quick break from the video to say, if you do like the video and you wanna see more Camtasia videos, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. I've got a whole section of Camtasia videos and they cover lots of different areas. And also, if you're interested in me doing some Camtasia training with you, you can contact me from the website and I do training online as well as face-to-face -face training. Right, let's get back to the video. So once you bring the video in, the options to work with the editor are the same as always. So really this is where you can take over and to begin to do your work. But what you'll notice is, for example here, you'll notice now that with the recording there are a number of options that have already been chosen for you because they were brought in with Camtasia Rev. For example, let's just to give you a quick example here, in fact there are five kind of elements that have been added or five properties that have been added to this particular video. If I wanted to change the background, I could now come in of course and choose another color and you'll notice that it will update on the screen immediately. I'm just gonna undo that because I'm quite happy with the way I've got this, but I just wanted you to see that you've got all those options. You can resize the screen, etc., etc. You could of course move yourself on the webcam and do all the typical edits that you do in Camtasia. But what I like is the fact that Camtasia Rev in many ways has done the work for me. And of course I could go back now and do a screen capture video, etc. And it would again go through exactly the same process and again add in the different elements that I chose. And I think this is a really powerful way of working. It can speed up the whole video creation process. It can make your videos look really professional and the good news is it's less work for you. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, make use of all the Camtasia videos that are available in the Camtasia section. And remember, if you're interested in me doing some training with your organization or with you as an individual, then please contact me, and you can contact me from the website. I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen now about Camtasia.